And she has the cutest little shih tzu. Look at this cute little dog over here. His name is Puppy, by the way, which is like the laziest attempt of naming a dog. All right, just name him Puppy. Puppy, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Look at this cute little dog, I love him. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. He knows like so many tricks. I have to show you guys. He's like the cutest dog ever. Look at him, he's just like a little baby. Little baby, I love you, I love you. So yeah, anyway, today's video, we are going to be reacting to some more public service announcements. I have made a video on this before. It has nearly 2 million views. I love that video. It's such a great video. But today's public service announcements, we're going to be focusing just on ones that are animated, okay? If you guys don't know what public service announcements are, they're basically like these commercial type uh, like videos uh, which are aimed to sort of shock you into sort of learning uh, like about, you know, road safety or, you know, like child abuse, stuff like that, okay? And some of them, you know, end up getting banned because they're so like crazy, okay? So today we're going to be looking at, you know, banned crazy public service announcement commercials. I don't even know what this video is, honestly. Okay, let's play a game where we try and guess what the commercial is trying to show. All right, so we've got this dumbass kid. Checking out something in the closet. Roddy, come on out from under there. No! No! Come on. I saw a monster in the closet. Monster? There is no such thing as monsters. But I saw it! There's, but there's no such thing! But I saw it, man! There's no such thing as monsters, guys. Alright, if you go to a closet, there's no monsters there. Okay, so what, what's this advert trying to show? Monsters? Uh-oh. What's, what, what's this dumbass kid so scared of, okay? I don't understand what's going on. One second he's playing ball, and then he checks up. What's in the closet? <laughs> Okay, remember, this is a public service announcement, okay? So, it's meant to advertise something. Jeff, could you come up here? I don't understand. This just looks like a normal animation to me. Okay, pal, oh. it's time for bed. There's oh. no such thing as monsters. Oh, is this going to show like a secret message? The real monsters are human beings. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. Uh-oh. Kid, there's not such thing as monsters. Just look in the closet. <gasps> Monster. He was right. Oh, it's a hat. Oh, okay. See? See, kid? There was no, there was no monster in the clo- Is that a gun? Is that a gun? <gasps> kid? Oh, no. No, no, no. Please don't tell me. Don't tell me this. No, don't tell me he's gonna- No. <laughs> no! Whoa, 1.5 million US children are living with unlocked loaded guns? Okay, okay, uh, okay, okay. Everyone, everyone be honest right now. No one was expecting this to be an anti-gun commercial. Okay, okay, Jesus Christ. But this kid was just like scared of monsters in one scene, so I'm believing him because it's a monster, but apparently it's not a monster. It's, it's, it's a gun. <laughs> and the, the kid shot himself. Okay. All right. I wasn't expecting that. But uh, yeah, now I can see why that commercial may be banned. You know, I don't think uh, parents want to see commercials of, of a kid shooting themselves. All right. But yeah. All right. Jesus. Okay. That one, I was not expecting that. Okay. So it's a fun. Hiya. Enjoying your program. Enjoying my program. Having a great night. Okay. Be messaging your daughter. Messaging my daughter. For weeks. We really get her, she says. Make her feel all grown up. Oh, those pictures she sent me. Pictures? Nice. Oh! Beautiful. <laughs> she really fell for that. She's coming over tomorrow for a few drinks. We'll see what happens. My daughter? I cannot wait. What? Child sexual exploitation is happening to girls and boys across Scotland? No wonder why there was this, this bloody Scottish bunny is telling me that he's going to sleep with my daughter. What the hell is that all about? Okay, Jesus Christ. Okay, so I, I get the sort of message that they were trying to show. They're trying to show, like, how innocent your daughter could be and, like, how she looks. But you don't know, sort of, like, the people that she's talking to online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For all the children watching right now, you need to promise me that you will never meet up with some weirdo online, okay? Do not do that. You don't know who is on the other end of that line, okay? Okay. Do be very careful and be very vigilant when you are on the internet. Don't talk to strangers and don't meet up with them, especially. And don't go to know some guy who's, you know, messaging you and sending them dirty pictures. It's just crazy, man. Like, the fact that this happens is ridiculous. You know, if you're watching this right now, please don't be this stupid. Hansel, oh, look, Hansel and Gretel? And oh, yeah. it's made of candy. Candy, I love like candy. <laughs> and the windows are made of toffee. <laughs> I want the room. Aww. 
So it's just um, Hansel and Gretel eating a lot of candy. So how's my plump little Gretel? How oh. do you do it? You eat as much as a boy. Oh. Eat too much or you'll get fat. Oh, poor, poor Gretel. How your child feels about her body is up to you. Gretel? Oh, he's eating all by himself. Let's stop eating disorders before they start. Okay, so what is that animation meant to be about? It's meant to stop people from uh, getting fat or, you know, to stop fat shaming or body shaming. I I'm guessing it's the stop body shaming, you know. I, I think the, the main message is, you know, be comfortable with your own body. And if you want to eat a oh, shit ton of candy, just go eat shit, go eat sh shit ton of candy, okay? Don't let anyone, uh, like, make you feel bad about eating. Oh. Ugh, another pick request. Why doesn't he stop? I know he just keeps going on and on and on. Oh. Maybe we should just send him one? No oh, way. Titties. Don't trust him. He did say he loves us. Oh. Doesn't sound it. He could share that with anyone. True. Remember, what's her name? That pick broke the internet. Yes. Everyone saw it. Her parents, her teachers. Oh. Poor girl. Poor he's girl. getting well desperate. Now he's calling us frigid. <gasps> what a tit. Oh. No one should pressure you to send a revealing picture. Disrespect nobody. Oh, that's a great animation, man. That that that's so great. Okay, because like, yeah, like I know what it's like to be a teenage boy, and I know what teenage boys are like. All right, they're these stupid little horny little teenagers. Okay, and I, I feel like boys put way too much pressure on girls to sort of you know uh, uh, sort of move forward with their sexuality. Okay, don't if you're a boy watching this. All right, little boy, don't ask for naked pictures of your of some random girl. Okay, and telling her that you love her. Just so that she sends you a bloody titty pic, okay? Go on the internet for that, all right? Stop pressuring young girls into uh, into making them feel like they have to do these things when they don't need to, okay? I mean, everyone progresses sexually different differently. You know, some do it early. Some, you know, take a lot more time to sort of get comfortable with that sort of thing. So don't pressure anyone into doing something that they don't want to do, okay? So, yeah, girls, don't send titty pictures to, start to no horny boys, okay? Because they don't give a shit about you. Oh, If you're checking your girlfriend's phone, Telling her who she can and can't speak to. That's not okay. That's not okay, of course, alright? You've got to give your girlfriend space. If your boyfriend's telling you how to dress, oh. that's not right. Yeah, of course, alright? You've, you've got to be comfortable in your own clothing. That's what I always say. If oh. someone asks you for a nude pic or keeps wanting you to share one, you shouldn't have to deal with you that. shouldn't have to do it. When yeah. it comes to sex, oh. only an idiot would put pressure on someone. <laughs> Thanks, uh, talking boxers. <laughs> If you turn to violence when your girlfriend disagrees with you, oh, that's not the way to handle it. There's Aww. a person attached to everybody. Respect Whoa. both. To see more, search disrespect nobody. Oh, I get it now. Disrespect nobody. Don't disrespect the body, okay? It has the name. <laughs> so yeah, I'm guessing this company is aimed to sort of, you know, get kids to sort of respect each other, you know, and respect each other's bodies and personal space. Stuff like that, you know. I mean, like, uh, th this sort of stuff, I feel like p kids should know already. You know, just be a good human being. It's not that hard. But uh, yeah, you know, I, I think some, some kids are stupid and ruin it for the others, you know. All right, this next animation comes from David James Amsby, okay? And I'm going to leave the link to the video and his Facebook page down in the description, okay? This is like an animation that he made, which is sort of like a public service announcement, uh, but it's like uh, an animation which he made. All right, so let's check it out and his message. Oh, okay. So we got an old time TV. Uh, what is this? A are we sitting comfortably? Yeah, I'm pretty comfortable. Are you guys? Okay. Welcome, citizens of Autodale. Hello. To this PSA. Yeah, public sub. That's that's the, that's the title of the video, guys. <laughs> All right, so we got a family. Children. Oh, look children. around the room. Look at your oh. father. My father. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Oh, okay, my father's not there. Okay, my father's never been there for me, honestly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> look at your father. Look at your father. He likes to read the newspaper and kick his feet up after a hard day's work. Okay. He provides fun. for your family. Oh. Your father is pretty. Whoa. And then, children, look at your okay. mother. Isn't her cooking splendid? She okay. also keeps the house clean and she reads you bedtime stories every night. Oh, what a good mother! Your mother is pretty. Okay, so what's the message here? And now, children, look at yourselves. Oh, they're trying to make you're people young, be pretty. You laugh, you play, you may scrape your knees from time to time. You oh. have friends. You and your friends get up to all sorts of playful mischief. Uh oh, no ball games. One day, children, you will grow up to be just like one of your parents. Uh oh. And you will build a family of your own. But what if I one don't want to do that? You will be pretty. Oh, they're pressuring now, us. finally, my pretties, look outside at your lovely neighbours. They're pretty. You're 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 pretty. But alas, children, 
Not everyone is pretty. No! Some are ugly. Ugly! We don't want uglies. Uglies? Do we, children? I want to be no ugly. Okay. You are ugly. Ugly? You are ugly. Ugly? You are ugly. Ugly. Oh my we goodness. Why is everyone... away. What? So that you and your friends Whoa. and your neighbors and your family can, be... can stay pretty. Whoa. Remember that, children. But, but that's like brainwashing kids into thinking and to conforming into uh, and a this normal concludes life. today's PSA, wow. citizens of Autodale. Children, oh. like your parents and their parents before them, what? always remember to stay pretty. Robots? What's going on? Oh, okay, guys, this took a dark turn. Uh, hello? What's gonna happen to this robot? Oh, no, it's gonna... <gasps> Is it gonna cut? Jump? <gasps> Disfigured? Re... Retard death fat? Oh, I just get it now. Depressing, crippled, old, divorced. <gasps> I get it. Oh, no. S sterile, blind, gay. Oh, no. No, you're not ugly. You're pretty. <gasps> What's this? Bloody God? What's this? What? Titties? I can't show this. Okay. Whoa. Please stand by Autodale. Wow, that animation was amazing. Oh my goodness, guys. I, do, do you get it now? It's like basically saying, you know, like back in the day, you know, like we would always, you know, put pressure just to, just, uh, to kids, you know, just to sort of grow up and be normal, you know. But we're living in a society now where we shouldn't outcast people for being different, you know. Like it's not, it's not the fact that like we are pretty and they are ugly or the, or basically saying like we are normal and you guys are not normal. We don't live in that sort of society anymore, you know. We live in a world now where, you know, you're allowed to be the person that you want to be, you know. You should be comfortable in your own skin. You know, and no one should sort of make fun out of you or be mean to you or even like see you as someone that's not like you, you know, because we're all the same, you know, and, you know, it's it's just an opinion of someone being ugly and pretty, you know, and yeah, it, that, that animation was amazing, man. Like, uh, like it has some deeper meaning, which I, I think I understood. But, you know, but let me let me know what you guys think in the comments, you know, because I thought that one was was really deep. OK, OK, PSA. All right. This looks so old. OK, this must be from very, very a long time ago. Um, oh, little girl. Hello. Hello, little Susie. Hello. Hello. Hello, Susie. <laughs> I bet you feel safe inside your school, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel safe. I bet you feel like nothing in this world could harm you. Uh oh, right? what's going to harm mm -hmm. her? Uh oh! Wait, I just realized two plus two is, is, does not equal five. What? Who made the shitty public service announcement? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm well, you're wrong. I'm wrong. What? 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 That's right, Susie. There are people outside just waiting to hurt you. Oh! Oh! Okay crazy people, then. Like crazy people like Peter the pedophile. Peter the pedophile? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you would not see this in 2018, okay? You can't just make an animation saying, yeah, yeah, Peter the pedophile's out there waiting for you, kids. Don't make sure you don't talk to strangers. Crazy people like Peter the pedophile. <laughs> he goes, oh, yeah. Pedophile. Yeah. You, uh. see, Susie, you need to stay away from Peter. Peter oh. will be nice to you. Okay. He'll even offer you candy to get in his van. Oh, no, don't do that. Once inside, he'll make you do naughty things. <gasps> oh! They just when he's done, he'll get rid of you, so he'll cut you up into seven pieces. Cut then you drag up. your dismembered body to the lake where he'll get rid of the evidence, so he what? can hurt more good people. Maybe even your whole family. So Susie, remember, uh, avoid all strangers. <laughs> oh, all strangers. Uh, okay. <laughs> run, Susie. Run to safety. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, and look both ways before crossing. She died. So that was hope. <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Wait, what? A Lewis Serratos film? Don't tell me that's real. No way. 
No way. Okay, okay. I don't think that was made by like a proper company or anything like that. I'm pretty sure that was made by some random dude. Okay, but yeah, this is the sort of thing that what we had back in the day. We had like shock tactics, all right? I mean, I know like children, you shouldn't really talk to strangers, okay? Especially if they're being overly nice because they could be a pedophile and everything. But yeah, like this sort of tactic of shocking them and basically scaring them and showing them the worst case scenario of where you meet a pedophile who you, you know does dirty things and then kills you after like as a kid if i watched this you know i would be scared as shit to talk to anyone outside jesus christ this is scary oh. shiny suds oh okay it's catchy yeah okay shiny suds wait did i click the run show the wrong video uh, how is this a public service announcement that was banned i don't understand Breakfast oh, and 20. It carries on. Okay. So. Morning. Oh. Oh. You've forgotten us already? Oh. <laughs> oh. Why are you still here? Yeah, You're why still are you here? here because you sprayed us here. What chemical <laughs> residue left over from your cleaner? Made from what? toxic ingredients. We give you the impression <laughs> clean. And then we get to watch you clean. <laughs> now, if you'd please. Right, does, what? Baby. You don't want to be oh. late for Oh, what? Why is this guy acting like? Oh yeah. Lufa. 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 You deserve to know what chemicals are in your cleaners. We shine like Support the household. Okay, what a what a weird way of showing people to be careful about the cleaning products that you use. The bubbles became horny little men that were just watching this woman shower naked. And this woman just was sort of like, oh, okay, I just have to deal with this. It's not people, it's soap bubbles. What kind of person came up with this idea that a soap bubble is gonna, you know, uh, be a pervert and watch some woman naked in the shower? Okay, all right, a bit of a weird way to portray your message, but you know what? Um, I, I don't know what else to say, honestly. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end the video there. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. This was me reacting to animated uh, public service announcement or like like band commercials. Okay, like some of them have like good messages, but I think you know I I think this tactic of shocking uh, you know kids is uh, something in the past, and we should leave that in the past. Okay, I don't like shock tactics. Either way, though, thank you.